Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Mac Merlin stream. Let's see who's on tonight. I see a big walruses, listen up phones, what to write, magic gladiator, Zark, bookmonger. Thanks guys for joining in. Let's see, as you guys can see from the stream title down below, tonight we are unboxing a portico, the last piece of my puzzle so that I can build. Okay, so I can have a portico with IFK port on it. And then I'm going to port a board into QMK and I'm going to drink port and I'm going to do it when I go to Portland. So it'll be like port times five. <laughs> but yeah, until I get all those pieces together, can't do that quite yet. But yeah, here we go. Let's talk about the portico really quick. You guys don't know what the portico is. Portico is a board from the key company basically created as a competitor to the NK65EE and the KBD67 Lite. Basically, it's your 65% with all plastic all around, all that good stuff. But yeah, retailed for about $134.99. I think during group buy, it was a bit cheaper, but it was available in clear, smoke, terminal green, mint, purple and black, um, gasket mounted, QMK via, RGB, blah, 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 blah. You know, all that good stuff. It even comes with a, with a little fancy case right there. PCB, FR4 plate with gaskets. What else, what else can I say? Assembly required. Building the protocol will take you 60 to 90 minutes. We've designed this to be a perfect starting piece if you've never built a keyboard before. Okay. I'm always super suspicious when someone claims a product is perfect, is ultimate, is end game, you know? So we'll see, we'll see. I will not be building this tonight. Tonight is just my unboxing, getting my full take on it. And, um, you know, out of curiosity, I figured I would buy the key set that came with it, especially since it was super, super cheap. See, Phoebe Ch Fedby Cho has subscribed with Prime. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, let's start off with the key set that came with this. This is another IFK set. I've been fairly satisfied with my IFK port, so I figured I'd give it a give IFK another shot here. But yeah, this is your typical black on white IFK set. Bought this primarily because I wanted to compare it with my existing EPBT black on white. But yeah, I was kind of hoping for a better packaging. This is, <laughs> you know, I kind of surprised that it came in something like this. But I guess it's it's one way to keep the keys from being, you know, thrown all about. I guess, right? Let's see. Hey, TKC Portico black on white. Pretty sure it's IFK. Can't really tell for sure. There we go. I've already opened the box, but I haven't opened the actual keyboard quite yet. So it does come with a fancy looking case with the TKC logo and the Portico branding. Not bad. Interesting. The box does seem really flimsy. If anything, I'd say it's about the same quality as the NK65EE one. See, so actually, that's a lot more bendy. That's that, that's even more bendy than the KBD fans one. It's probably probably not going to give you too much protection. T Mighty has subscribed with tier one. Thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, let's go check this out. Let's go check this this keyboard out. Nice. 134 bucks for a decent entry level board. Not bad. But is it any good? You know what, honestly, I've forgotten what color I've gotten, but I'm pretty sure it's not green because I hate the green that they have here. That just looks ugly. So pretty sure it's not green. Can't remember what. The Piper Sun 13 says, don't like the white zippers. I honestly, I don't mind it. I think it's, you know, it's, it's contrasty. Portico didn't have split backspace. Wish I knew if a hot swap with four split backspace. Um, you can try the D60 Lite if you like 60%. For example, you know, this guy right there, split backspace. 
<laughs> All right, let's go open this up. Will I be amazed or will I be disappointed on my first initial take? Who knows? We'll see. Oh, I got clear. And this is a coiled cable of sorts. Okay. Interesting. Okay, it's definitely not assembled. You'll have to assemble it yourself. Hey, look, it came with C3 stabs. That's interesting. I was unaware that this would come with stab. I thought that was basically just a keyboard. Cool. Very cool. Um, while C3 is not my preferred stab, I do... I... I do find them a lot easier to work with. I've noticed that with C3 wires, the chances for a warpage is a lot smaller than Duroc. So, you know, just because trying to keep it all stock per se, I'll just build it with these when the time comes. C3 stabs. What's next? What's next? What's this? These are, ooh, these are gaskets. Okay. You literally have to put, put it together screws and feet i assume okay let's take a look at the board fr4 plate i quite like fr4 plates um recently put one in my think 6.5 and it's been a quite a nice experience so hopefully this will be two what is this sticker here Oh, that's funny. Look, this sticker is supposed to be down there, but I don't know, maybe through shipping or something, it just got moved. What the heck? Well, that's, that is really sticky. I wonder how, how it got moved. Here, let's put it back on. Let me put it back on. <laughs> that sucks. Ah... Uh... Let's see. First, first thoughts. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I think I picked white because I thought white was the prettiest, and I liked being able to see like the innards of this, especially when the lights are 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 all on. Wanted it to shine. Let's see. You know, honestly, like holding it right now, it doesn't. It doesn't feel as good as my KVD67 Lite, nor does it feel as good as my NK65. Or let me just grab the NK65. Yeah, yeah, this guy feels a lot more solid. Huh. Merlin, thoughts on banana split switches from TKC? They're fine. I've only used them once, so I'm not exactly a, you know, oh, can't really comment too much on long-term usage. They're quite popular, popular switches too. But I don't know if that's because of the gaskets that are missing, but the USB-C doesn't seem entirely lined up. Interesting. Yeah, so far my NK65 still feels a lot more lot more solid the gaskets are already applied those in the packet are extras wait what gaskets are already applied and it's wow that is poor. look at how poor that alignment is like I I could understand it if gaskets were were not applied but the fact that gaskets are applied that's just Oh man, it's like the PCB is slanting downwards at an angle. That's that's not good at all. Oof. Here, let's go take it apart and, you know, maybe it's just an issue of screws not being tightened, all that stuff. Oh yeah, so far, so far I'm not impressed. Like, I have not, I, I'm, I'm actually disappointed. I'm actually disappointed. It's kind of it's it's definitely not the same unboxing experience as the NK65 or the KBD67 Lite. So that's not good. That's not good. I'm already Yeah, it's not that I'm not impressed. It's I'm disappointed. All right. Okay. 
Come apart, come apart. Okay. So, eight gaskets. Eight gaskets and a very similar um, dampening foam compared to what the D60 Lite has. What are all these screws that fell out? Why are there screws? Oh, are these for the PCB? They're probably for the PCB and they fell out just like that. Interesting. Like, really? Where were they supposed to screw in? And there's... The screw fell again. <laughs> <laughs> the screws weren't even put in properly. What the heck? So keep this in mind, KBD fans is known as, you know, entry-level mechanical keyboards. And, you know, on more than one occasion, you can receive your KBD fans board in a very scuffed condition. Um, This kind of, like, these days they've done so much better. KBD fans is like... You know, they're doing so much better these days. This this kind of reminds me of KBD fans when they first started in like 2017 or something like that. Whoa, wait a second. That is missing a standoff. What the heck? No wonder it's no wonder it's not screwing in. It's missing a standoff. Wow, okay. This is this I think instructions would say, repair board first before assembling. Uh, oh look, oh look, look, this is very similar to how the D60 Lite has it. This is like, if, if I were to see this from afar, I would think this is the bottom half of, of a D60. You know, so... I don't know if TKC got design inspiration from KBD fans or KBD fans got design inspiration from TKC, but who knows? Uh, for those of you who saw my D60 Lite unboxing and build, you'll know that, you know, as much as I loved how it felt, it didn't have the same sound as the KBD67 Lite. So based on what I'm seeing here, I'm going to guess it's going to be the same. I'm. I'm going to guess that I'm going to love how this feels, typing-wise, but sound-wise will still not be as good as the KB67 Lite. And I say that purely on observing what the mounting looks like and with the dampening. But yeah, let's try and fix the board first. But you know what, before anything, let's see what I can comment on the PCB. Is the PCB any good? That is the question. PCB uses an Atmega 32U4. So, you know, not quite an ARM microcontroller, which is what we're hoping everyone will go through these days. It's got a reset button right there. USB-C center mounted, pretty cool. But I do not see any form of ESD protection, which is a big ouch, because both the both the current NK65 and the KBD67 Lite both have ESD protection already. So, oof. <laughs> Janky Rider says, Merlin, what's up? I'm kind of chapped that right after I got in on the KR2 KFEC star, so I think I might sell my K and try to go for a KFE. Dude, those are both very nice boards, though. They're both very nice boards. Yeah, what else can I see here? Um, looks like in-switch RGB and underglow, which is what was advertised in the spec. That's fine. Yeah. Mm. Traces don't look they were done by a madman. Oh well, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just... I guess I'm just upset that they don't have ESD protection here, or... You know, there, there are many ways to implement ESD protection. The way that I'm familiar with is not present here. So, you know, could be wrong. And then we can fix things up. 
See, dead inside. So one of my gaskets was really bad. I had to take it off and replace it. Oh, that's just upsetting. Okay. You know, honestly, people, people would say, okay, I think if this was the first board that came out, like, if this came out before the KB67 Lite, before the NK65EE, a lot of these issues would be like, you, you could overlook them and say, it's a hundred thirty-five dollar board. It's not a. It's not a full-on cost custom. It's fine, and they're all like, you know, it's all fixable. Nothing's like bad or like anything. You know, you can just put another screw in. You can put another standoff in. No big deal, right? But the fact that this is prob probably the last sixty-five percent plastic sixty-five percent that came out makes it so so that everyone is comparing this with what came before. And as human beings, we tend to prefer that, you know, that everything new should be better than the old, which this one has failed to meet, unfortunately. So yeah, there we go. There's my missing standoff. What is this foam? Hurt my feelings more than anything, says dead inside. <laughs> Did it make you feel dead inside? You know, several several vendors lately have screwed up their FR4 plates. So I am I'm quite curious. Quite curious is this FR4 plate scoffed? I'm gonna use it by testing an NK uh, silk switch. Just because these are some of the fatter switches I've tried. And look at that, that goes in super smoothly. Almost a little too smooth. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Did you see what I just did? Did you guys just see see what I just did there? Look, I'm gonna take the switch and NK Silk, plugged it in, right? Guys, what is the purpose of a plate? What is the purpose of a plate? Can anyone tell me what is the purpose of a plate? <laughs> what? Holds the switches. Wow, um, yeah, at, earlier I was saying that lo lots of vendors have screwed up where, the, where they have the plate being super tight. Now this one is like, okay, here, 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 let, let me just show you guys this. No, okay, I'm, I'm gonna say it's every position. It's every position, that sucks. Pinoy Robot says, if this is hot sauce, that's a large miss. Yeah, this is an absolutely large miss. Desperate Ape says, can you use a three pin switch to try if the sockets hold it in the board? This is a five pin switch right now. Do I have any three pins? Mm, here, but that is, okay. So the sockets will definitely hold it in the board, but imagine this. What's gonna happen is you're gonna put keycaps on your board, right? Then you're gonna take them out. And as you take them out, you'll pull the switch along with it, which is actually a very common situation. But with a plate like this, it's guaranteed that you'll pull it off for every single switch. But, so yeah, this is... I'm gonna ask again, guys. What is the purpose of a plate? To hold switches. <laughs> Oh my word. Okay, 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 here, here, here. Maybe the foam will help hold the switch in place. Let's, uh, let's go put it in the foam. Because that sits between the two, right? Right, right? Here, it's in. Will it hold it in place? <laughs> nope, it's not gonna hold it either. Here, let's, uh, let's, let's just put it together. Let's put it together, you know? 
Wait, hold on. I need to align the screws properly. Okay. No, just 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 without really screwing it in together. Here. Okay. Okay. Yep, it's completely being held together by that. But as I was saying earlier, if you take a keycap, key right, you put it on, there's a chance you'll remove the switch. Let's put a keycap on there. Switch puller. <laughs> wow, this is... Dang. And that's that's with the five pin, guys. That's three pin. Let's see. Do you know what? I just got a shipment of three pins. Oh yeah, this is. I bought this locally. Gap cap yellows. Gap cap yellows. There. Three pin. Three pin switch. Let's see what happens. Let's make sure I plug it in correctly because there's no pins to guide it. There we go. See, just to make sure, did it go in? Yep, it went in. Okay, it's in. Look, you can. This is how easy it is to remove. You can probably do it with your fingers. Actually, no, you can't. You still have to use, here, let's try this. Push it all the way in there. Make sure it's in. Oh, hey. Interesting, maybe it's just with the silks. Oh. Actually, I was just able to pull it out. Let, let's try a different switch. It could very well be switch related, right? Could very well be switch related. Let's try... Let's try something like... Let's try something like a Xylent. Try something like a Xylent. Okay, yeah, so maybe it really was just with the silks. Oh, no, wait. I felt it pop up. It felt... it popped up. It popped up. The solid keyword once it's built, my favorite of the budget keys, mine is Kara, still shipping. Well, I sure hope so, because right now it's been... It's been pretty upsetting. Oh. Okay. Wait, so, so that cutout still isn't all the way in. Huh. Okay. Is this polycarb case or ABS? This is polycarb. See, dead inside. It says, reminds me of advice I took from you a while ago, but didn't listen. You said, buy a nice board and you are less tempted by the cheaper future ones. I didn't listen. <laughs> I have learned. I'm still enjoying it though. Dude. You know, buying a great board, buying the nicest board you can get, is pretty awesome. But a lot of us are in this hobby because it's the journey there that makes it awesome, you know? Like, I keep saying that I'm a man of variety, even if I had the best keyboard ever, if such a thing exists, I would get bored after a week. I, I prefer having multiple keyboards, you know? Multiple keyboards... Just try different things. Big Wars says, I do appreciate the candle as long as I didn't buy the board, then you can lie to me and tell me it's great. It's great. Now slip me that 50. <laughs> 
Portugal gives me bootleg KBD light vibes. So honestly speaking, this mounting that I'm seeing right now is, and, e and even like the dampening here, is very similar to, to the D60 light. So I don't know who got inspired by who. But as I said earlier, based on that and on that alone, I, I would assume that this will not sound as good as the KBD, KBD67 light, but will type better than it. Like sound and feel, this will beat the NK65, but probably not the KBD67 light. But we'll see, we'll see once I finally build it, right? Maybe they have the same manufacturer, or maybe the same designer, right? Maybe the same case designer. Who knows? Who knows? NK65 is way behind. I would not say it's way behind this, to be honest. Out of like, in, in terms of PCB technology, the NK65EE is better than both this and the KBD67 Lite. How's the Primus treating you? Yes, I have lots of regrets after after typing on this. It's been my daily for the last couple days. Alright, even after tightening all the screws, this board still doesn't feel very very sturdy. Yeah, that's that's upsetting. Upsetting. Alright, well, um, to be honest, I've been hearing people talk about this board and telling me about the QC issues and, and like how it's bad, right? So I I was prepared, kind of like how I was prepared for IFK port. But if you guys caught my IFK port unboxing, when I opened it, it met all my expectations and my expectations were low. I'm gonna say that just on the unboxing alone, that it did not meet, this did not meet my expectations. And my expectations were already set low. So that's a big oof. That is a big oof. <laughs> that's my hot take. That's my hot take about the portico. From, from purely a unboxing standpoint, like who knows? Maybe once I build this, I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's the greatest board ever. But right now, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Everyone's saying oof, yeah? Yeah, if you... I know, if, if you guys bought this board and are feeling dismayed by, by, by what I said, um, just keep in mind that it's purely my opinion. It's my opinion. If you absolutely love like your portico, then m more power to you. More power to you. But for me, for me and what I expect from a $134 keyboard, this so far has not met the mark. Anyway, we are an an hour in, we actually finished the unboxing about 20 minutes ago, and I am still melting in this room because it is so hot, because my, my AC still hasn't arrived. So I am going to end the stream before my cameras overheat. <laughs> and I'm just gonna chug the rest of this drink, I guess. Mm. So yeah. Mm, it's good stuff. Stay cool. I am trying to. I am literally soaked in sweat. <laughs> uh, I'm not looking forward to Saturday's build. <laughs> yeah, you guys can watch me finish my drink before I end this thing. Actually, my wife wants a sip, so I will I just stop it right there. But yeah, thank you everyone for joining in. Uh, my next stream will... 
No, I said this Saturday, but I might have something this Thursday. Stay tuned, stay tuned. But yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and I will catch you when I catch you. Goodbye, guys.